I'm Heather Neff, Chief Executive Officer of Waveney Care Network, and I'd like to welcome you to the Care Center. We appreciate you utilizing our programs and services, and I'd like to reassure you that during your rehabilitation, our staff are here to answer any questions you have and provide you with any additional services. It's important to provide us with the most knowledge you have about your diagnoses and medications upon admission so that we may provide you with the best quality of care while you're here. During a hospitalization, very often there are changes that you may not be aware of. So knowledge of this when you come through and us reviewing upon admission gives us an opportunity to clarify any discrepancies or any changes that may have occurred. When you're first admitted, you'll be greeted by your charge nurse. Within 24 hours, you'll be working very closely with your ther physical therapist. Um, CNAs are available to you 24 hours a day to assist you with uh, activities of daily living, such as you know bathing, transferring, walking initially, so that you're not alone in doing these things. Um, the social worker will be into meet with you to discuss um, discharge planning and your goals upon arriving back home. A dietitian will talk about your dietary needs and possibly dietary restrictions to ensure you get the adequate nutrition and, and proper food choices while you're here. In your room, you will find a patient directory that covers everything that we discuss here on this orientation video. Please refer to that and reference it at any time throughout your stay. I'm Ann Newton. I'm a physical therapist and the director of rehabilitation at Waveney Care Center. The ultimate goal of our subacute rehabilitation program is to assist our patients in regaining their strength and independence in order to return home. In order to do that, You'll be evaluated by a physical and occupational therapist within about the first 24 hours of your admission to the facility. That evaluation will help us work together with you in order to determine what your individual goals of your rehabilitation program are. Your physical therapist will work with you on areas such as improving the range of motion in your joints, improving the strength of your muscles, and working on your ability to get in and out of bed, up and down from a chair, and to walk both indoors and outdoors on even surfaces and uneven surfaces, including going up and down stairs. Your therapist will also work closely with you on developing a schedule for your treatment that is best for you. One of the ways that you can work with us uh, to ensure that you're at your best for your therapy sessions is to work together with us to manage your pain. It is expected that at this point in your recovery, you're going to have discomfort and we'll work together with you to be sure that that pain is managed to the best of all of our ability. Timing your pain medication for about a half hour before you need to come into therapy is usually ideal and you can work together with the nurse and your therapist to be sure that you're getting that medication in time so that it's at its peak efficiency when you come for your therapy. When utilizing ice to help with your pain relief, we recommend that the ice remain in place for about 20 minutes and then the ice be removed. You can use the call bell to ask the CNA the certified nursing assistant who's assigned to you to come and bring the ice back to the ice pack machines in the rehab gym. This will help assure that the next time you're going to apply the ice, there'll be a cold, fresh pack ready for you, and it also helps us to increase the, the life of the ice packs themselves. Once you come to the gym, we'll show you where the ice pack units are, and we encourage you to either access them yourself throughout the day ask the CNA for assistance, or even family members are welcome to come in and get ice packs for you as you need them. In addition to your scheduled time in therapy, you'll be working on the unit with our very talented team of certified nursing assistants. They're there to assist you with your activities of daily living, uh, such as getting dressed and getting washed up, and they're also there to help you get in and out of bed, in and out of the bathroom and to walk with you. 
We encourage you to walk as frequently as possible throughout the day and evening. We want you to be changing your position frequently throughout the day from a sitting position to a lying down position and to walking as much as possible. This really will help to speed your recovery and it also helps to minimize the risk of other complications that can come post-surgery. The types of activities that you'll be working with your physical therapist on will include moving around in the bed. How do you get yourself comfortable? How do you optimally change your position in the bed? Gait training or ambulation training or learning how to walk again is really what most people think about when they think about physical therapy and returning to their home life. And that will be one of the primary things that you would work with your physical therapist on while you're here at Waveney. One excellent way for you to optimize your walking throughout the day and evening is to walk back and forth to the dining room for all of your meals. Not only is it a beautiful and social environment in which to have your meals, but it's a great opportunity to get in a good walk on the way there and on the way back. We're striving to help you be as independent as possible as quickly as possible. We know that's really what we all want in the end. We want to be able to get ourselves back and forth to the bathroom, back and forth to the dining room for meals, and back and forth to the gym on a schedule that's right for us. So we will make you independent in your walking as soon as we can, but most importantly, we want it to be safe. So your therapist will let you know when it's safe for you to do that on your own. Until then, please use the call bell and ask one of our CNAs to assist you walking back and forth as much as possible. My name is Jennifer Zold. I'm an occupational therapist here at Waveney Care Center. As an occupational therapist, what I'll help you work on is restoring your independence to things like getting up, getting dressed, getting in and out of the tub, getting on and off the toilet, making sure that you can prepare a small meal for yourself by the time you go home, and doing any laundry tasks that you might need to do. Unique to your experience here at Waveney, I think that you'll find things like using the Nintendo Wii system and our putting green are especially rewarding when working on patients' balance, especially with occupational therapy. If you've had a total hip replacement, you have hip precautions. There are three of them. The first one, no bending past 90 degrees at the waist, no crossing your legs at the knee or the ankle, and no pivoting or twisting on your surgical leg. If you've had a total hip replacement, you're also going to need adaptive equipment to maintain your total hip precautions. Some of those pieces of equipment are your reacher, a long handle shoehorn, a long handle sponge, a sock aid, and if you need it, a compression stocking aid to help you get on the surgical stockings. We hope this orientation has been helpful and we deeply appreciate you choosing Waveney Care Center. If we can be of any assistance in the future, please don't hesitate to call. We're happy to help you.